All right, I am three classes. Uh, today we're going to talk about converting between um, degrees and radians. It's actually a pretty quick lesson today. Um, so first of all, we need to talk about uh, what degrees and radians are. And we're going to get more into this in the, in the lesson after this one, but we're just going to convert between the two. So degrees, they're just a unit of measurement for angles. So that's what we're familiar with. Um, it, it tells us how wide an angle opens up, right? Um, typically, what we deal with, um, actually, it's uh, one full rotation around a circle. So if you open it up, all the way to make a full circle. One full rotation is 360 degrees. Um, the next one uh, that we're dealing with is radians. Radians is, is the same idea as degrees. It's a unit of measurement for angles. It tells us how wide an angle opens up. Um, it's just a, a different uh, measurement. And so it's like the difference between um, like uh, feet and meters. So feet and meters are measuring the same thing. They're measuring distance, but they're two different units. That's how that's degrees and radians. They're measuring. Um, they are measuring uh, how wide an angle opens up, but it's in um, it's in units. Uh, it's just it's two different units. Uh, this YouTube link I have up here, I'm not going to play the YouTube video for you on this. If you'd like to see it, you can uh, just search. Um, I think it's just uh, search radian, um, radian animation on, on YouTube. And it, it, it has a really nice animation explaining what a radian is because um, I think everybody has their, their mind wrapped around what a degree is, but a radian, um, a radian is pretty clever. It's based on the radius of a circle. So um, you can watch that. We'll watch it in, in class, um, but it, it's, it gives you a good idea of where the radian comes from and why we use radians instead of degrees. And, um, radians actually makes a little bit more sense, but just like with degrees, one full rotation around um, around a circle, it's 360 degrees. One full rotation around a circle in radians is two pi, right? That's the other thing with radians. We, radians are in terms of pi. So all our answers when we're, when we're dealing with radians are going to have a pi in them. Um, so let's uh, see how to convert. So if you can convert from degrees to radians, real simple, you just do uh, multiply the number of degrees by pi over 180. So pi radians over 180. More simply, you don't have to write in radians. It would just be pi over 180. All right. Uh, to multiply the number of radians or to go to degrees, you just flip it around. It would be 180 over pi. All right. Um, real easy way to remember which one is which. Uh, if you're going from degrees, your answer doesn't have pi in it. Your degrees aren't going to have pi. You're going to want your, um, after you multiply that pi, so pi needs to go on top. If you're starting with radians and going to degrees, uh, the radians is already going to have a pi in there. You're going to want the pi's to cancel out. That's why pi goes on bottom. So let's do some examples, convert from degrees to radians. So all we need to do, multiply by pi over 180. All right, so if you can make the, this a fraction and just multiply straight across, 250 times pi is 250 pi, one times 180 is 180. And instead you don't put this into a calculator, all right, you just simplify the, the fraction. You're just going to reduce this part of it. So 250 over 180, um, you can divide top and bottom by 10, that'll be 25 pi over 18. That's it. Let's do another example. 135. Um, so uh, I'm just going to multiply by pi over 180. When we multiply that across, we're going to get uh, 135 pi over 180, you need to re 
reduce that, um, reduce fraction. So you can divide top and bottom by five. It'll take a few steps if you want. Uh, I'm gonna skip ahead. You can divide top and bottom by 45. 135 divided by 45 is three. 180 divided by pi is four. So three pi over four. So all it is reducing the, the fraction. Uh, another example. Uh, all right, um, 330. So multiply by pi over 180. That becomes 330 pi over 180. Uh, 330 over 180 can divide top and bottom by 10. So it'll be 33 pi over 18. And actually those are both divisible by three. So 33 divided by three is 11. 18 divided by three is six. So 11 pi over six. Done. All right, let's go the other way now, going from uh, radians to degrees. So remember we want the degrees to cancel out. So I'm gonna do 180 over pi and the pies cancel each other out, which is super nice. So uh, two times 180 is 360 over three. Uh, 360 divided by three, simplify that, would be 120. All right, 120, I put in degree symbol. Another example, seven pi over six. So I'm going to do uh, 180 over pi. Again, I want the pies to cancel out. So that, that's how I know the pi goes on bottom. Um, so seven pi, uh, seven times 180 is 1260 over six. And then 1260 divided by six is 210. 1260, done. One more example, negative. Just doesn't matter. We're gonna, we're gonna learn about negative angles and how an angle could possibly be negative um, in the next lesson. We are gonna deal with the negative angle here. So uh, you just do 180 over pi, the pi's cancel out. So I get uh, five times 180 is 900, I believe, got 900. Oh, don't forget the negative. Name 900 over four. 900 divided by four, so that's gonna be negative 225. And that is it. Next time we'll learn more about uh, degrees and radians and how they can be negative and uh, how they relate to each other a little bit more. So I'll see you guys next time.